This is the sunniest city in Australia with pristine metropolitan coastlines stretching over 123 kilometers. Life in Perth is definitely a beach. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Perth is regularly ranked as one of the most livable cities in the world because of its climate, safety, quality of life, and of course its stunning beaches. You don't need to venture far to find a good one. So for today's video, I am so happy and excited to be featuring some of my favorite inner city beaches that are within half an hour away from Perth, starting at the most photogenic of them all, Cottesloe Beach. Voted as Australia's top beach in recent years because of its crystal clear waters, aquamarine ocean, and feathery soft blonde sand, there are plenty to love about the postcard beach of Perth. The nearby bars and restaurants, relaxed atmosphere, and located less than half an hour away from Perth make it a favorite destination for both locals and tourists. If you love swimming and snorkeling, it's best to come at the beach early in the morning to avoid the crowds and also the water is calm. And let's face it, there are sharks lurking around Perth beaches, but you'll be happy to know that there's an eco-friendly shark net around Cottesloe Beach for your own safety and protection. And we're here at another favorite beach of mine, City Beach. Very popular amongst locals. You'll also find Florette Beach, a few minutes walk north of this beach. So let's go wander around. The snow white sands and excellent facilities has earned City Beach as Perth's best beach in recent years. Two purpose-built drawings offer excellent fishing and also provide safe swimming for the whole family. This beach is very popular and usually is busy and the waves can be quite powerful so it's ideal for surfing and bodyboarding. In terms of swimming, the city beach is really quite choppy for my liking. 
but I still love coming here because of the many bars and restaurants overlooking the Indian Ocean and it's a perfect place for bodyboarding, surfing and just hanging out. If you don't have a car, not to worry, you can catch the bus. Only takes 15 to 20 minutes away. And the best part, as the bus approaches the beach, you will see some of the most beautiful homes overlooking the Indian Ocean. And if you're into surfing and boogie boarding, then this beach is the one for you. Welcome to Trig Beach. Trig Beach is located around 20 to 25 minutes away, north of Perth. And again, it's perfect for surfing, boogie boarding, but if you're not into surfing or boogie boarding, you can still come here, enjoy the beach, have a picnic. Bird watching is also a popular activity here and fishing, or simply enjoy the many good cafes along West Coast Drive. So do you love coming to Perth beaches or have you been to any of these beaches? Which one is your favorite? Please leave your comments in the description of this video. You know, I hate to admit that I sometimes take for granted living in Perth. I can only count the number of times I've been to Perth beaches, but a day like today, beautiful day, beautiful sceneries reminds me of how lucky I am to be living in Perth. Speaking of beautiful beaches, I have uh, another beach to show you, perfect for snorkeling, Madam's Pool. Let's go check it out. Named after Frank Netham, a World War I veteran, Madam Pool is another popular beach due to its calm, pool-like conditions, making it perfect for snorkeling. A huge variety of marine life can be seen within a few steps from the beach. Madam's Pool is located 10 to 15 minutes walk north of Trig Beach and always recommended to come here in the morning to avoid the crowds and also to avoid the strong winds because generally we get really strong winds in the afternoon in the Perth beaches. I can sit here all day admiring this view. It's a beautiful sea breeze. It's very relaxing and the best thing, it's free. Western Australia has the longest coastline in the country with over 12,000 kilometers in length. So whether you're after fishing, boating, surfing, scuba diving, or simply lazing out under the sun, then there's always a beach waiting for you. All right, let's go. But for those of you who prefer to stay dry and still want to come to the beach, then there are other activities for you to enjoy, like here at Hillary's Boat Harbor, only half an hour away from Perth CVD. 
Here you will find good cafes, bars and restaurants for you to enjoy. Hillary's Boat Harbor is home to the Hillary's Yacht Club. You'll also find a family beach here that's kids friendly. You can also catch the fast ferries here that will take you to Ratnis Island. And of course, the main attraction of all is the largest singer aquarium in Australia, the Aquarium of Western Australia or Aqua. So let's go check it out. We're now inside the Aquarium of Western Australia. It's a little loud here because the kids are so happy looking at the beautiful fish on display and there are hundreds of marine species here and most of which can only be found in Western Australia's unique coastline. From turtles, stingrays to seven species of sharks, you know, getting up close and personal to these wonderful creatures really is quite exciting. And what I really love about the Aquarium of Western Australia is that they use natural corals, not artificial, so I'm really happy to know that the uh, marine animals here are living good life, you know, closest to their natural habitat. For further information and details on Aqua, including ticketing information, please see the description of this video. And we're now here at the boardwalk having some drinks. It's been a very good day so far, good weather. And right now I'm with my in-laws, they're traveling from Corsica, France. I'd like to ask them what they think of Perth. They can't speak English, I'm gonna speak a bit of French. Uh, Qu'est-ce que uh, vous pensez de Perth? Perth est une ville incroyable, vraiment unique. Et il euh, y a beaucoup de choses à faire et à voir. Et j'ai hâte de revenir uh, une autre fois. Merci. So, what she said is, Perth is a very beautiful city. Uh, it's very unique, really unique. There are a lot of things to do and she can't wait to come back. Um, et vous? Alors, à peu... okay. À Perth, les gens sont très accueillants, souriants, euh, chaleureux. Euh, on a hâte de revenir voir cette euh, ville magnifique avec des espaces euh, et des étendues euh, incroyables. Euh, on est allé voir l'aquarium où là, des belles choses à voir, notamment des requins. Et euh, c'est vraiment exceptionnel. Merci. So, according to Maurice, he really liked Perth because it's very beautiful. There are a lot of parks and there's also beautiful landscapes. And he's just been to the aqua and he's impressed with the number of sharks uh, on display. So, merci Maurice. De rien. Thank you everyone for supporting our channel. I hope to see you again in our next videos. In the meantime, stay safe and be happy. Thank you so much. Bye bye.